Thank you for joining us in this presentation on Lost Creek Nature Retreat, a great partner for the North Shore communities. A little bit about us. We are located in Bernhards Bay in an area known as the North Shore of Oneida Lake. We are 75 acres of mature forest woodlands and my husband and I have been residents and active members of the community for over 27 years. A little about us and why we created Lost Creek Nature Retreat. My husband Andrew Hirsch began his love of nature early, joining the Boy Scouts, uh, eventually becoming an Eagle Scout. He also joined the Navy and proudly served for six years. He became a submariner and a Navy nuke. Um, and throughout his career, he was in the power plant industry, serving as an instrumentation and controls technician. Also, for most of the plants he worked at, he was the environmental emissions monitoring specialist. I am Dr. Holly Dobbins. I began my love of nature the same way as a camp counselor, first as a camper and then a counselor. I have my PhD from Syracuse University. I am a college professor at Mohawk Valley Community College and Munson Williams Proctor Art Institute. I have taught at SUNY College of Environmental Science and Forestry. My areas of expertise are the social sciences, environmental history, and ecology. Together, uh, we have a deep regard for nature and view ourselves as custodians of the land, trying to protect and preserve the habitats around us. Vision and goals. It is our desire to create a business model that will allow public access to our lands for education, recreation, and enjoyment, while at the same time preserving the environment for future generations. So let me give you an overview of what is in this presentation. First, I'm going to address why Lost Creek should be a nature retreat, why we think it's so special. And then I will unfold for you what we have to offer, what recreational activities are available, what the amenities are and are going to be, and how we think Lost Creek Nature Retreat will benefit Constantia and the North Shore communities. So now I'm going to explain why we think Lost Creek should be a nature retreat. This is an image of a bluegill colony during mating season, and it only hints at the wild variety of wildlife that exists on our 75 acres. We have five distinct ecosystems, a mixed hardwood forest, mature pine forest, a two acre pond, three creeks, and some wetlands. Mixed hardwood forest provides a wide variety of different um, levels and layers in the ecological canopy and a wide variety of food sources, uh, as well as sustainable forest. We also have a mature pine forest, which includes indigenous species like the hemlock or the white pine, uh, much of which was never logged, leaving us with some truly great uh, champion trees. Our two acre pond supports a wide, rich variety of aquatic life from several species of indigenous fish to amphibians, reptiles, uh, the aquatic mammals, beavers, muskrats, and so forth, um, as well as the aquatic bird life. Our three creeks do the same thing, providing a different kind of aquatic environment with running water, uh, brook trout, crayfish, and other species. Our wetlands provide a rich source of nutrients, uh, not just, of course, for the fauna, but for the flora, offering us great variety. So some of the abundant and diverse wildlife you will find among the insects, swallowtail, of course, your gardener's friend, the praying mantis. Do not touch this. Uh, it will be very painful. Admiral. and of course our monarch in all stages of life. Amphibians as well, you know that you have a healthy ecosystem when you see this spotted salamander. And of course, a wide variety of amphibian and reptile life. We have a lot of turtles. Uh, 
birds, abundant and, and diverse wildlife continues with our friends, resident geese that come every year, very successful parents, gross beak, quite a wide variety of bird life. And mammals as well, can't leave them out. All of these were taken on our property. Fisher porcupine. And of course, fauna are only half the equation. We also have abundant flora and fungi. Everything from the edible berries that we're blessed with to aquatic plant life, canopy, occasional lightning strike, to your precious orchids, trillium, milkweed, and your mosses, and your decomposers. much of which is edible. Part of our lands were planted by the Civilian Conservation Corps in the 1930s as part of their reforestation program. And these are pine forests, so they present kind of an otherworldly feel, which means we also offer something of a mystical forest experience where you might find the odd magical creature here and there, but you have to look really hard to find them. You might find a, a sentinel on a tree, perhaps a gnome home, or even a fairy. So what do we have to offer at Lost Creek? Four main things or themes, picnicking, camping, events, and retreats, and I will go through them. These banners are from the first major event that we held at Lost Creek, which is our own wedding, which is where all of the event slides in this presentation come from. So picnicking phase one uh, will include four well-developed picnicking sites that include a fire ring, a grill, and a picnic table. Phase two will uh, segue to camping on these same sites. Our tent sites are 36 by 45 feet. And what will make Lost Creek unique is that uh, campers will be separated by at least 100 feet from each campsite. So you will truly have an experience of being in the woods. In phase two, we also anticipate offering theme camping with day visitors being able to come on the weekends and enjoy a small Renaissance festival or Shakespeare play or two uh, in the wild. Uh, Pirate Week, Frontier Week, these are some of the ideas we had. Again, these photos are from our wedding, which was Renaissance themed. Event space. Uh, we will be able to host uh, weddings, birthday parties, graduations, um, anything that would fit under our marquee tent, of course, weather permitting. We also anticipate offering business organizational and wellness retreats. So the recreational activities that are available at Lost Creek, we have currently at the moment three miles of hiking trails. We offer kayaking, fishing, swimming, archery, horseshoes, volleyball, lawn games, guided nature walks, and we are in the process of planning a meditation labyrinth. So some of the images from the kinds of things that you would see people doing, hiking, forest bathing, enjoying themselves uh, in the waters. And um, of course, what would camping be without a, a campfire around which to, to gather and maybe roast some corn? So what amenities do we have? Well, we offer off-road parking. Uh, I will cover our restrooms, beach, camp store, clump house, picnic areas, and event space. 
So off-road parking and camp roads, our general parking lot is 160 by 100 feet and over 500 feet from all public roads. Retreat roads will meet or exceed all code requirements. The driveway is 13 feet wide and the road to all the campsites is 10 feet wide, as are most of the well-developed trails. In phase one, we anticipate having available uh, in terms of restrooms, one unisex handicapped accessible restroom, potable water, and two biffies, uh, both of which will be handicapped accessible. <clears throat> For those of you not familiar with the term, we learned this from the Oswego County Health Department. A biffy is a bathroom in the forest for you, um, and uh, they will be completely contained, tank in ground, kind of like a, a well-built um, uh, porta potty in terms of how they're managed. Phase two, we will build a bathhouse restrooms. They'll have two stalls for each gender, private shower, handicapped accessible, of course, potable water. Beach and swimming area. So here you see our newly developed beach. Um, it will have all the proper signage. Within 50 feet from the shoreline will be the roped off area and no more than five feet deep. Again, we're gonna meet or exceed all Oswego County Health Department requirements here. Our office camp store and clubhouse, uh, our garage is going to be converted and part of it will serve the function of office and camp store. It's 18 by 24 feet. The garage section will be converted into a recreation area anticipating rainy days. So ping pong board games, lending library, a lounge, um, a Wi-Fi spot, that kind of thing. We also have uh, less developed picnic areas where basically uh, scenic outlooks or just a nice place to be um, scattered throughout the property. And I mentioned the event space. Uh, one is the marquee tent here. Uh, they can accommodate uh, reasonable events for, for a modest um, size crowd. This was our original site map uh, plan in terms of giving you an overview of the property. You can see the, the pond in reference to the trails and the little circles in the center representing um, campsites and future campsites. It's nostalgic to look at. So Lost Creek Nature Retreat, how does it benefit the community? Well, we anticipate promoting local businesses, partnering with the Longhorn Ranch, um, sending people to Holtz Blueberries, Webb's Vegetables, Grace Taylor Winery, uh, local marinas, local restaurants and shops, local fishing guides and services, and horseback riding stables for, for lessons, Dreamcatcher Farm, North Riding, two possibilities. Also promoting local area attractions such as our fish hatchery, of course, David C. Webb Memorial Park at Taft Bay, and the fact that we are really close to the Oswego County Recreation Trail. Benefits to the community, promoting local businesses and attractions, hiring local craftsmen and contractors for any work that we need, eventually creating jobs, um, not just through contracting, but at Lost Creek itself in the long term, and providing recreational space and entertainment for the community, preserving green spaces on the North Shore, educating people on the importance of the preservation of nature and wild spaces. These are the community benefits that Lost Creek Nature Retreat will bring. What we are striving for is minimum community footprint with maximum community benefit. Thank you.